I am lead on to a company in Chicago, Illinois, and uh, I am on a dedicated account going from Indiana to Washington. And Welcome back to the Recruiter Call Channel, where we make the call for you. Of, of course, I was tagged in a in a post that I believe that you uh, put up in one of the groups. Uh, you're looking for uh, drivers to drive your fleet. Yes. All right. All right. So, all right. So, thank you for coming on. I do appreciate it. Go ahead and uh, introduce yourself. Uh, what's the name of the company and what do you guys have to offer? Oh, yeah. Uh, my name is Michael Doe. Uh, I am an owner operator of five um, of three trucks. I am leased onto a company in Chicago, Illinois. And uh, I am on a dedicated account going from Indiana to Washington. And I need to place either solo drivers or team drivers in two of the available trucks that I have. All right. So you say you linked on to, um, you leased on to a, a, a Chicagoland uh, company, but you will, you will be the one that will be, uh, that the drivers will be employed by though, right? Yes. Okay. So the drivers wouldn't have anything to do with the Chicago land company that you're leased on to, right? All all dispatches, uh, all dispatches, all rates, and all this other, you know, all other stuff will be through you, right? Uh the the rate sharing or the information for the law will either be shared by me because I'm also uh participate in booking loads for my truck or the company book loads on behalf of me. Uh there are two pay options, either send by mile or percentage. If the driver choose percentage, it is twenty nine percent and driver have four um four details to the information that is being shared to me. So he will see uh how how much the miles is. Uh, how much the broker is paying for that law, and then he can, he or she can uh, calculate that share. Okay, okay, okay. So twenty nine, so twenty nine percent to the driver. Of course, well, it shouldn't be. You know, you 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 know how it is now. Trying to get drivers to, you know, to see your vision and to come on and to help you build your your company, but you, you know, you're going to run into drivers. That's going to be like, okay, well you giving me 29%, but you're, you're taking 80 or 90%. You, you see where I'm going with that? And to, to that driver, I will tell he or she, you know, um, if you have a goal, go ahead and follow your goals. But this is what I offer. Uh, there are um, other incentives that I do offer, like uh, managing the fuel. You get bonus for that. Uh, uh, accepting, you know, loads and not turning it down. You get bonus for that. You get layover pay. Uh, detention pay is fifteen dollars per hour after two hours. But if any driver will come and tell me and say, "Oh, you know, you have." this much percentage, but you're giving me this much percentage, you know, he or she is more than welcome to leave and go and work for any other company. There are companies out here that are paying 40 cents per mile, 30 cents per mile. Um, well, not 30 cents, but 50, 60 cents per mile. So mm -hmm. to each their own, you know, if they find better opportunities, that is perfectly fine. But I am looking for dedicated drivers. I'm looking for long-term, you know, drivers, you know, I, I'm very reasonable and will give my drivers what they need to make them feel comfortable while they're out on the road. Okay. But um, I think 29% is a fair pay. You know, you'll be making well over uh, $1,700 gross, mm -hmm. you know, up, up to $3,000 more. Okay. You know, it's very easy for the, it's very easy for the truck to make ten, twelve thousand dollars $12,000 a week. So 29% right. of that, goes to the driver. They are not responsible for fuel. 
Mm-hmm. They're not responsible for maintenance. And when the truck broke down, uh, they don't have to sit in a hotel until the truck is fixed. Uh, we do have option to rent trucks from, you know, uh, riders. So the driver is going to keep moving. Okay. Okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. Good offering. Good offering. Uh, now, as far yeah. as now, as far as offering the percentage, what what are you offering for a cent per mile? Uh, cent per mile is sixty five cents per mile. Uh, after I would say after six months to nine months with uh, no uh, DOT violations, I am not promising, but I am open to a um, two to five cents. Uh, you know. Okay. Incentives after that. So okay. bumping the driver up to sixty seven to seventy s- cents per mile. Now since you, you you mentioned uh you know you you want drivers to be, you know, safe, good inspections and stuff like that. And this is the first time that I ever particular asked this question, but how is your safer score? Like, I mean, you know, I'm 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 gonna assume that you have uh best pass uh the the pre pass for yeah. the uh our, for the uh for the for our, the toll i mean not the tolls but for the scales how is your yeah. your safer score for drivers that's you know are they able to are they able to blow past the scale or what uh i'm gonna be very transparent on that one um the company that I'm um, leased uh, that I'm leased to have on the operators that also have drivers that are working for them, and also work for themselves. So, to the best of my knowledge, our safety score is good. Um, we do have the option to bypass scales, and I would say about eighty five percent of the time, because I personally drive one of my truck right now. Eighty five percent of the time, I am bypassing the scales. I get the green light. Um, when I do get pulled over for DOT inspection, we're only having like, you know, light checks. We're not having a full scale, you know, DOT. All right. So, all right. Safety score is good. Uh, we work with direct shippers as well as tons of brokers. So, um, just a little personal information out here. I personally drive one of my trucks and I'm easily, uh, on one of the dedicated accounts. That I'm doing right now, if a driver chooses to take that from me, I go from Indiana to Seattle, Washington. That load pays about $5,500. Uh, and then I get another load from Washington back to Indiana. That also pay, uh $5,500. So, you know, truck is making well over $15,000 a week if okay. they choose to stick with, with that account. Okay. I do that load about three times a week, Indiana, Washington, Washington, Indiana, Indiana, back to Washington. And at the end of the week, I'm making well over $15,000. Okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's, uh, that's, that's good. And I'm, I'm, I appreciate you being, um, transparent. Um, all right. So how much experience are you looking for? Uh, I would prefer a driver with two years experience, but if the driving record is clean, background is clean i would take a year and a half but i would prefer a driver with two years experience all right of course being that you're you know you're owner operator and everything is is fall back on yes. you you everything, definitely everything falls on me yeah right so you definitely and want uh, a driver I, I, oh go ahead yes i i I would want a driver with two years experience because I really don't want to get to the point where like I am penalizing drivers for not doing what they're supposed to do. So I want a driver that is well experienced, not just with weather condition, but also know how to make smart decisions. And also a driver that is not too proud to call and ask for help, you know, because if something goes wrong, you know, it all falls on me. And, uh, I don't want to ever get to the point where I'm like, okay, you messed up the truck. This is a warning. The second time I'm taking it from the picture, I don't want to end up being that type of boss. So I really want a driver that knows what he or she is doing out here. And when they ever in doubt, they can pull over and call and ask for help. I'm always available or the dispatcher team for the company I'm leased onto is always willing to help my truck. All right. That's what's up. Um, all right. So, of course, uh, you know, being a fleet owner, you're uh, bound by CSA, uh, by FMCSA rules and regulations. So pre-employment, 
drug screening, uh, urine or hair follicles or both? And who pays for it? Uh, we're very straight. So if you are, you know, if you do get the green light from safety, I will have no doubt in your ability to operate my truck. Uh, we do thorough background check. Um, drug tests, as far as, uh, as far as I know, uh, if you're not lucky, you will get the pee and the hair follicles. But it's usually one of the others. All right, all right. So we already went over the mileage pay and uh, and the percentage pay because you're offering uh, boy, I mean both at the choice. Now you say you have uh, yep. you have five trucks in your fleet. What are no, three, three, three. Oh, three? You have three trucks in your yeah. fleet. You're driving one of them, so you need uh, drivers for need two. two drivers. What are the trucks and what yep. are they governing that? Um. Uh, the truck that I'm the truck that I'm using right now is a 2023 Volvo. Uh, on the pedal, it is governed at 72, and on cruise, it's governed at 75. So the truck, you know, limited 75. Uh, all trucks are Volvo, and they're all brand new. Okay, okay, all right. That's what 75. That's whoa. That's a that's a first. Let me ask you this: What's your opinion? Yeah. What's your opinion on speed limiters now? You know, uh, safety first. This is what I always tell myself, right? The car next to me can be my wife in there, can be my children in there. So always make smart decisions. Uh, the loads that we do are very time sensitive. So uh, if a driver is spilling, you know, it's something that we do watch, like how consistent they are speeding, but we, I do understand, you know, there's a time and place for it. Uh, the truck do have dash cam, but it is not facing the driver. So, um, I give my drivers their privacy, but at least once a day, I am on there monitoring the video when I get the alert. Okay. So, um, I urge my drivers safety first, mm -hmm. but, um, if you got to speed, just know where and when to do it. All right, facts, facts. All right, so uh, both percentage and mileage pay. Uh, this is a ten ninety nine deal, right? Are right, are right, you're you're not offering yeah. being that you're leased on to a to a Chicago land company. You're unfortunately not offering lease. You're just offering ten ninety nine no, company. I'm I'm not offering lease, but you know I'm always out to give positive information to help the next driver. If you want to lease onto the company that I'm leasing onto, they require two two years experience to get a truck from them. Uh, good driving records. Um, they charge you ten percent, and uh, you can get a used truck from them. But for right now, I think all the trucks that they have are brand new trucks. But I personally, if you choose to drive for me, which your application would say driving for owner operator, I don't offer a lease. I'm right. only looking for uh, company drivers. All right. That's what's up, man. Pet and rider policy. And how young can I bring my rider? Uh, I. So, according to the company, your rider has to be eight years and above. But if you. Since I'm the one that's responsible for the trip, I would take as uh, as young as five years old. But there will be a uh, three hundred dollars deposit, which is one hundred percent refundable once your rider is off the truck and when the truck is uh, inspected for any sort of damage. That also go for um, pet as well. Three hundred uh, deposit, mm -hmm. and you get your money back when the truck is returned. You know, as is. All right. Now you look at now, of course, uh, you say urine and hair follicles, either or. Uh, do you guys accept or do you uh, accept SAP drivers in second? Well, you said two years. So, yeah. 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 I, I get. Do you accept SAP drivers? SAP driver is the one that's a SAP program, right? Yes. Yes. No, we, uh, unfortunately, if you have a DUI or any sort of 
um, clearinghouse issue, you know, neither I or the company can take you on. Okay, okay. So uh, our hiring process is very straight. You got to be you gotta be very clean. All right. So the company w- got good safety, and we work with a lot of, you know, highly recommended uh, brokers, so they don't want anyone just coming on to the fleet. Okay. Now, I want to, again, I want to appreciate you coming on, uh, sharing your information, and I'm able to, you know, get out there and, and uh, put it out there and see if drivers are interested and they can give you a call. So definitely give me all the information that you would like for me to put in the description, phone number, name of the yeah. company, how they get in contact with you and all that good stuff. I'll go ahead and put it in the description and uh, and get this uh, good information out there. Now, let me ask you this. Um, now, yeah. I want to be like, you know, I, I, I want to be I want to be like open with you. You 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 got yeah. two you got two additional trucks. Yeah. What happened to the previous drivers for those trucks, if I may ask? Uh my previous drivers, you know, you know what they said, never do business or friendship. So the previous drivers that I had was guys that I went to trucking school with, uh I made it. I'm very successful. They, they too are trying to get on their feet and operate their own truck. So, you know, I'm like, hey, man, you guys can go and work for the mega carrier and make less money, or you can come and work for me and I'll pay you above average, you know, and when it's time to go our way, right. we'll go our way. But right. they didn't take it as serious as I did. So it was a lot of, uh, a lot of safety issues that I had to let them go it's to like- keep my truck. It's like I said in the beginning of our conversation, a lot of, it's unfortunate, a lot of guys don't see your vision. You know what I'm saying? You, yeah. You're trying to put something, Definitely. you're trying to put something together. And it's just unfortunate that fam, family and friends just don't work. You know? They so, want to care about the money. Even after they messed up, they still want a paycheck. Exactly. Exactly. All right, my guy. What What's your name again? My name is Michael. Michael. Um, Michael. I'm Ma- West African. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Tell t- tell a little bit about yourself. You your name Michael and what now? Uh, my name is Michael. I'm West African. I've been here for almost uh, twenty years, uh, and I'm just trying to live the live the American dreams. You know, my number is six one four six two two three two six five. Come and work for me, man. We'll make good money. All right, Ohio in the house, guys. Y'all hear that? My man Michael, he's uh yeah. he got two trucks available for you. So if you guys are interested in working for a hard working owner operator that's trying to get you together, check him out. Uh Michael, man, thank you very much for coming on to the to the podcast, man. And uh hopefully, uh hopefully this will do something for you. I appreciate it. Who's next?